Hi there, good morning. This is Prague, the capital and largest city of the Czech Republic or Czechia. Today is April 17th. It is currently 44 degrees Fahrenheit. That is six degrees Celsius. A chilly day here in mid-April. The sun came out for a little while and I quickly warmed up and then it went away and it is back to being cold. So I have uh, long underwear on under the uh, pants here. We'll see what the uh, day brings. One of those anything could happen sort of a day. So uh, around here is the Prague Castle Complex. According to Guinness Book of World Records, the largest castle complex in the world. And the current home of the president of the Czech Republic. So, Prague is absolutely one of the most beautiful, phenomenal European cities, which was also the capital of Czechoslovakia, a country that uh, existed through the communist era and then split apart into the Czech Republic and Slovakia in 1992, corresponding with the fall of the communist Soviet Union and the dissolution of communist governments in this part of the world in the early 1990s and as a result of this uh, part of Europe becoming more accessible than the wonder of uh, many countries and cities within Eastern Europe in general, but especially Prague here has become very well known and popular and is now one of the must uh, visit destinations in Europe and for good reason. And yet at the same time, it is still quite different from other major uh, European cities, Paris, Amsterdam, London, Rome, that are for one thing larger and also just more well-known, more besieged by tourists, Prague has a much uh, smaller feel. 
than some of those other cities. And the architecture is just classic European. The entire center of the city, I mean, basically everything that I've seen is almost all the old uh, architecture. So it is really a uh, wonderland of exploring. Look at those foreboding gothic spires. And the incredible Castle Square. Construction on the castle began in 870 AD. So, built during the 9th century. The history of this region goes back long before that into BC. There were Jews here, Celts, Germanic tribes, and then the Slavs arrived and have been here ever since. St. Paulus. We have some Latin. St. Petrus. <laughs> Leopold Fountain here. L. In 2020, the restoration of a significant piece of cultural heritage on the Prague Castle's second courtyard, the Leopold's Fountain from 1686 was finished on the initiative of the Heritage Preservation Department. Leopold I of Habsburg was crowned the King of Bohemia on 14th September 1656 at the Prague Castle and the Holy Roman Emperor on 1st August 1658. There he is. Besides other things, Leopold tried to initiate the completion of the construction of the St. Vitus Cathedral. The foundation stone was laid on 3rd September 1673, but after four years, the activity had to be quit for financial reasons. Okay, let's go see the cathedral. And we have a long line to go inside. Let's see how long. It would be nice to see inside, but... Uh... Okay, this doesn't seem so bad. Okay, change of plans. So it turned out I needed to have a ticket before getting in the line, which I guess you can get maybe right there. But in the meantime, then the line got a lot longer and I just kind of decided that I've been inside a lot of cathedrals and I'm not in the mood for uh, the line and the crowds in general and would rather just get walking. Head down to the uh, river, walk across the Charles Bridge, and for now just show more of the spectacular outside of the cathedral. Incredible uh, 
clock there. And artwork here. Looks like depicting aspects of uh, the life of Jesus and angels, various Christian uh, figures and perhaps historical people, not sure, but uh, there a man like inside of a crypt kind of looks like angels maybe rescuing people from the underworld is my best guess there and then i'm assuming that must be jesus right there adam and eve the snake Jesus on the cross. Looks like probably some local people. A hunter with... I guess that's a dog around his neck there. I was thinking it was a deer at first. Is it a deer that he just hunted or... A dog that is his companion, hunting companion, can't quite tell, but uh, cooking up a pig. Whoa, a scorpion? Interesting. And this is the main courtyard. The other one was the secondary one. Another line. Starry. Korolovsky Palak, so palace, I'm assuming. Okay, let's do the walk down to the Vltava River. Love all the stone, the cobblestone, Magnificent wooden doors. Okay, what is that saying? Looks like 16 and then IHS MRAZ9, huh? Some cherubs. A lion on a shield. So much symbolism here. And another courtyard. There you can see it looks like Bohemia. So Bohemia is the uh, ancient uh, nation of uh, the Czech Republic, this general region, previously called Bohemia. Okay, let's uh, pop inside here to show the inside of somewhere. Looks like George Sanctuary Basilica Giri, so St. George Basilica. Continue, sir. Policy. I you don't. I don't have a ticket sorry, yet. Sorry. Yep, yep. 
so I had realized that I needed a ticket for there as well and just wanted to show the inside a little bit at least. So let's get down into the city. There is a lot to see in Prague. This is certainly not going to be a fully comprehensive tour. I am here for three full days, and so I have more time to uh, show more of Prague, but actually my priority is getting outside of Prague and seeing more of the Czech Republic. When I was here before, I only visited Prague. So I will plan to go to Chesky Krumlov and we'll see where else. But I might do some day trips from here in the next day or two. There you can see the Vltava River and Charles Bridge. Okay, that is not Charles Bridge right there, or is it? Let's find out. Here we have the South Gardens. I am attempting to retrace my steps, kind of, and uh, get back to where I entered the castle before because I really like the uh, old town area that I was walking through there. So I think that that will be back up here. But uh, from here you get more amazing views of the city. You can get a sense here of why this is the largest ancient castle in the world, castle complex of many different buildings, but uh, I mean this right here is just gargantuan. And so from here I can confirm that indeed that is not the Charles Bridge there that I'd seen from that viewpoint because here I recognize that uh, tower from last night when I walked across the river and had dinner over there and that tower is at the other end of the Charles Bridge which is the most famous bridge in Prague over the Voltava. So here you can see Prazki Hrad, Prague Castle, Karluv Most, Charles Bridge. So I started the video right around the corner here, so I've come full circle and the sun has come out at least for a few moments. <laughs> and I am now going to uh, head down these stairs that will lead down into the old town and to the river. So this is really a classic old-style street. Beef goulash. Cafe restaurant established 1527. Look at that.
And then look at this uh, building here. Medieval Tavern. <laughs> Scared by the man, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Medieval accommodation apartments, two to four people. Separate rooms, bathroom, kitchen, information inside the tavern. Okay, is this... Oh. Unfortunately, you probably can't really get the uh, full effect because it is so dark, but man, this is seriously like a dungeon. So there is the uh, restrooms, and then going down further, you gotta watch you don't bang your head. Whoa, these are, I guess, tables you can sit at it must be quite a scene in the evening when it's fully alive wow this is really phenomenal i mean this is the real deal oh wow it is so warm in here hello So yeah, more tables here that you can sit at. This is so just straight out of Lord of the Rings or Dungeons and Dragons or something like that. And another statue of a man sitting here. Well, last night I had been saying that I was looking for a dungeon-like restaurant. Looks like that is the one to uh, go back to sometime. Deo Genitori. Another nice square here. Hello. Let's see about going inside. This church here looks like it might be easier.
weather is so all over the place. I was overheating, took off my jacket and scarf, and now a chill wind. There is the Charles Bridge. Let's take a closer look at the old style tram. The old and new. Speaking of old, what year was that car made? So I guess that uh, weed is legal in the Czech Republic, I assume, because I walked past a shop on the way going up there just a little while ago. Whoa. Look at that. And uh, there was this box, kind of like those Boxes with the toys and the claw that you try to grab the uh, toys out of. So like a, you know, plastic, uh, not glass, but see-through plastic box. And inside it was buds, like just a big pile of buds. I guess it was a, yeah, that's right. It said coffee shop on the outside, which... In Amsterdam, of course, a coffee shop is not where you go to get coffee. Okay, here we go. This one more obvious. Great timing. Weed shop, premium marijuana, THC, CBD, and plants right there in the window. So, yes, it is obviously very legal. Okay, I thought that said something else at first. <laughs> Pens. <laughs> Snoop Dogg. Not only CBD. THC cookies. Sativa. High cartridge dab. Cartridge. I don't even know what he uses for. Is that like for vaping or something? CBD oil? Okay, let's uh, walk in here. OG Kush, Super Skunk, Gorilla Glue, Jack Terror. So I thought that I would wander down here and uh, see what this is. Art cafe. Okay, I guess that is the art cafe. Oh, I 
And here we go. Lesser Town Bridge Tower. There are two towers on the Lesser Town end of the Charles Bridge, connected by a grand Gothic gate. Judith's Tower is the Romanesque style lower one, dating back to the 12th century. It is older than the bridge. The tall Lesser Tower was built as a proper bridge tower. Towers with a gate used to be an important part of town fortification in times when Lesser Town was an independent territory. And there you can see the Prague Castle complex, the Charles Bridge over the Vltava River. So for those who haven't seen the uh, previous two videos, then this is just the beginning of my next big epic journey. So the last time that I was here in Prague in 2018, that was the very end of a long trip of mine. I had to look back at my old videos to remember where I was before here and where I went next. So I flew from here to Helsinki, Finland and then that was the end of that trip. This time I am here at the very beginning. Flew here from Portland, Oregon yesterday. No more flights booked as of now. The plan is to spend the next couple of weeks or so in the Czech Republic and Slovakia. And then I will see after that. But I had previously been to Prague here and Bratislava, Slovakia, but hadn't seen more of these countries. And they are kind of lesser known countries, yet with a lot to see. And so I wanted to see more beyond the capital cities. After that, not certain yet, but the plan is definitely to get back to the Mediterranean before everyone else, before the tourist crowds come in July and August. So, yes, returning to Greece, maybe Italy. Maybe some Spanish islands, perhaps return to the Canaries or the Azores and Madeira, both island archipelagos of Portugal in the Atlantic. Maybe Norway, where I also have only seen the capital, Oslo. But it is all yet to be determined. Okay, let's uh, see if these guys are going to make some music. All right, here we go. Thank you. 
And I have something to give them. So, on the right, that is 50 karuna, and then 10, 5, 2, 2, 1. So a nice selection of their coins. So 50, 10, 5, that is 70, wait, wait, no, that's different. Is that another 50? Okay, I can't quite see what that is. Is that another 10? Not certain. I love their coins though. Anyway, that is about three dollars US or three euros. Gabrielis Av respondus optima fiat rede tuum fiat cum repetemus ave. Interesting. Gabriel again, proprium velet. So, I guess something about the angel Gabriel. Sun is out. Okay, so I have now returned to where I ended the video yesterday and where I will end the video today. There is certainly much more to see of this truly incredible city. So we'll see where I go in the coming days. Let's wander down here and finish up at this uh, little square where I ate last night. A very nice uh, pedestrian area. Lots of touristy restaurants and shops in the old style. Thank <laughs> you. 